Alongside the Ford GT, I will also be building a Ford Mustang in the same color scheme and same style, of course. Let's go through the unboxing quickly and then into a bit more detail later on. So this is a two-in-one kit from Ravel, which means it comes with a lot of sprues and a lot of extra parts as well as you can build it in multiple different ways. It has two sets of wheels, one of the stock wheels and also a set of Kragers, which would look really nice as well. And of course, a lot more chrome plated parts, which don't really look that good with the chrome plating, but that's easily taken care of with some stripping of the chrome and then repainting it in either a black, any other color, or maybe repainting it in a chrome that is a bit less flashy. As most of these Revel US kits from the muscle car era, they come with a crap ton of parts. It has a nicely detailed interior and also engine bay and chassis as well. So let's go through those parts carefully one by one. The interior is easily recognizable as a Mustang with the typical dashboard and the double bubble and also a lot of other features on the interior all around. It has nice detailing on the seats, the rear as well, and of course a nicely detailed out dashboard with some pedals, dials and other buttons all over. The interior tub is halfway molded into the engine bay as well, which does make it a bit harder as the engine bay needs to be body color and the interior, of course, interior color. Not that big of a deal, but it would have been nice if it were two separate pieces. The rest of the interior, like the door cards and some more parts for the seats, again, nicely detailed crisp lines all over, and it seems to have everything captured into them. The underside of the chassis is also molded in one piece and all the other details like the suspension, engine bay, drivetrain and all that stuff are molded separately which makes it a lot easier to paint and detail all the various different parts and also makes a very nicely detailed chassis. On the various other sprues there are multiple components for some of the engine transmission stuff, some more engine bay parts and some various other parts for the suspension and exhaust pieces as well. A nice little addition to this kit being a two-in-one, as one of them is a racing version, you also get a small roll cage as well, and even more options for the wheels and exhausts. The front and rear for the body come molded separately, as this kit is brought out in multiple versions if I'm correct, and that makes it a lot easier to swap these out. So in the earlier part sprues there was another hood as well and this is the second option, this is the stock one which I will probably be using. 
And then of course there is the main body. It has crisp details all over, the side vents are nicely molded in, and it even has some clean panel lines all around, which just need a little more depth, and that's pretty much all that needs to be done to the body, apart from some sanding and removal of some of these mold lines, of course. For the clear parts you get one sprue with the main clear part itself for the windows and the headliner in one and a couple of parts for the headlights as well and then there is a red tinted one for the taillight section which is nice because you don't really need to paint it yourself and just can glue it in easily. The final pack is one with the tires as it is a racing version as well you also get a set of wider slicks for the rear and some profile tires for the rest if you decide to go with a stock one. It is mounted with two rods easily and also has a couple of screws to put it all together.